Checking on Money Matters this morning, Jacksonville is a top city to spend your golden years. The cost of getting around the U.S. is on the rise. Jane King's joining us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning to you, Jane. Happy Wednesday. So Americans are facing higher costs just to get around on land, air, and sea. Boy, I believe that with the airlines at least. Yeah, no kidding, Bruce and Jen. Just to get where we need to go, it is costing more. Travel by bus, train, subway, and ferry rose by 4% over the past year. That's according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Now, a year ago, those costs were actually dropping about 3%. Now, the price of airline tickets, as you mentioned, they are back on the rise, especially as we've seen oil start to increase. They were declining steadily since the summer of 2014, but it started to creep up a little bit. So you go to the grocery store and you want to make sure you've got the freshest food available. You've got a sell by date on the label, you got a best by date on the label, and there's a lot of confusion. <laughs> how, how are they going to clear that totally. up? Totally. Yes, I mean, I just use the smell test. How does the milk smell? Is it still good? I mean, because I don't understand any of these labels. I don't think anybody does. Uh, they're not official, by the way, or even an indicator of safety or quality. New legislation in the House and Senate will be introduced in the coming weeks to give some clarity to the situation. Millions of pounds of food is just being wasted. It's just thrown out too early because of these confusing labels. And talking about labels in food, there's this new study, Jane, that says the GMOs are not harmful after all? Yes, genetically engineered crops are safe for humans and animals to eat, and they have not caused increases in cancer, autism, obesity, or other illnesses. This is all according to the National Academies of Science. Now, they began work on this 388-page report two years ago. It did include more than 50 scientists, researchers, agricultural, and industry experts. They were convened by the Academy. The genetic material of GMO plants artificially manipulated to give them characteristics they would not have, like resistance uh, to pesticides or herbicides and uh, there's a lot of critics of GMOs of course they do say this report had too much agricultural industry influence so uh, the debate goes on I guess and it will for some time I'm sure <laughs> yeah. hey if you've got uh, retirement on your mind I hear Jacksonville ain't a, pl uh, a bad place to be that's right. Jacksonville's been named one of the best cities to retire by Kiplinger's Magazine. It says the city has many retirement communities already, cultural activities, beaches, lots of volunteer opportunities. There are universities and community colleges as well, like the University of North Florida. Uh, the city has mild winters but warm summers, and the reasonable taxes are pretty nice, too. Sounds great. And, and those morning news show <laughs> folks are kind of friendly. That's right. Let's forget that. That's right, yes. <laughs> Unless you're sleeping in, which is what I'll do when I retire. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. <laughs> Thanks.